We are doing standard position and closed terminal angles. More trig, more trig, more trig. In college, I loved trig. Anyway, take some notes. Let's go. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. So angles in standard position, first of all, you have the bottom ray that starts on the x-axis, and then you have the ending ray, which we will talk about in a second, all right? And then you have your vertex. So those are the three parts. You have two rays and a vertex. The first ray is called the initial side, okay? The second ray is called the terminal side, so the ending side. And then, of course, we have our vertex that connects to the two. This is an angle in standard position. If the first ray starts on the x-axis, on the positive side of the x-axis, and then they open and they're going to go counterclockwise. All right, so angles in standard position, um, we, ooh, did you see that little animation? You saw it? You saw it? You see me? You see me? Anyway, okay. So the first one is a fourth of a revolution. That's pi over two. These are common revolutions, common standard angles. Um, if I go around a half, revolution that's pi radians oh did I say the first one was pi over 2 if I go around 3 fourths that's 3 pi over 2 and then of course if I go around a full revolution do you want a revolution woo, woo. sorry it's 2 pi radians Ooh. anyway <laughs> so positive angles um, in standard position are going to go counterclockwise and negative angles in standard position are going to go uh, clockwise okay so I know you see the little the extra swirly we're gonna talk about the extra swirlies in a second so common variables used to represent angles we have theta we have alpha we have beta and we have gamma so if you see any of those symbols they're symbols that we use to represent angles intrigue so if I have coterminal angles Coterminal angles can be found by adding or subtracting 360 or 2 pi from an angle in standard position. This results in a coterminal angle. So I can have angles that end in the same place, an infinite amount of angles that end in the same place. So what is that? What, what, what are you talking about, Ms. Bernard? So let's say I have 420. 420 degrees is bigger than a circle, right? Because a circle is 360. That's how much it takes to go around, how many degrees it takes to go around one circle right 420 is a little bit extra so what is its coterminal angle well look at the directions it says assume the angles are in standard position find a positive angle less than 360 degrees that is coterminal with each of the following 420 minus 360 equals 60 degrees okay so what that looks like Oh wait, sorry, let's do the second one. So the second one is a, is a negative angle, right? And it's negative 120. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add 360 because it's less than 360. So 420 was bigger than 360, so we subtract 360. One, negative 120 is less than 360, so we add 360 to get it to be positive, right? So that gives us 240. So let's watch the pictures because the pictures are really where it's at in this, okay? So what we're gonna do is this is 60 degrees, right? What it's telling us is that 420, as a coterminal angle, goes around not once, but twice to get to the same place and stop at the same place that 60 degrees does. So we could, do this, we could talk about the same thing for negative 120, right? If I do that, I'm going to say that that is negative 120, right? That's a counter, that's a clockwise angle, it's negative. To get to that angle going the right way, that's counterclockwise 240. So for those two angles, a negative and a positive to end in the same place, that's the turns that it would take. As opposed to the other picture, both of them are positive, so one, but one of them had to go around a little bit extra to end up where we started. Okay, negative 135, so this one is negative. Think about it, are you gonna add 360 or are you gonna subtract 360? If you said add, you're correct. Why are these out of order? <laughs> I can be mad. So I'm going to add 360 to get 225. So then we have 400, and 400 is going to be sub 
uh, is bigger than 360, so we're going to subtract. I was going to ask you that, but this little thing ruined a little thing, you know? Anyway, so look at the pictures because the pictures help us visualize, okay? Um, whoop, that's 225. Negative 135, though, would have been that clockwise motion. 225 is that counterclockwise motion. Now, if we look at the 400, 400 looks like this. I go around, but if I didn't go around more than once, I would just do that little blue area, and that would just be 40 degrees. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let's talk about coterminal angles if, they, if they're starting with radians. A little bit trickier. Just a little bit. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do for 17 pi, remember, we, we can't do 360. We have to do 2 pi. Okay? So us having to do 2 pi means we're going to have to mess with fractions a little bit. Okay? So we always want to rewrite the problem, 17 pi over 6 in the same denominator as the original problem, so 6. What divided by 6 would equal 2? Because remember, we're trying to change 2 pi. So that would be 12, right? 12 divided by 6. So 12 pi over 6 is the same thing as 2 pi. So 17 minus 12 is going to give me 5 pi over 6. Ta-da! You did that. Okay? So then I have negative pi over 12, right? We're not going to subtract 2 pi this time. We're going to add 2 pi. Why? Because it was less than 360 or less than 2 pi. So we're going to change our problem. So negative pi over 12. 12 divided by what would equal 2? 24. So that's what we're going to use. 24 pi over 12. Right? So negative pi plus 24 pi is going to give me 23 pi over 12. So that's my answer. So now let's look at some pictures. That's 5 pi over 6, so that's the smaller angle that's 360. I mean, that's less than 360. And then the blue line represents the original angle, which was 17 pi over 6, which took more than one turn to get to the um, terminal side. Look at me using my vocabulary, you see me? Okay, so um, that little tiny clockwise motion is negative pi over 12. And then for us to find the positive coterminal angle, that means I would take that blue loop, and that's the 23 pi over 12. Ba -ba -da -ba. I don't know what just happened. Okay. Um, 13 pi over 5. You should try these on your own. Are you going to add or are you going to subtract pi? This is tricky. You got to think about 13 over 5. Is 13 divided by 5 bigger or smaller than 2? It's bigger than 2, right? So that means I should subtract 2 pi. So 13 pi over 5. 5 divided by what equals 2? 10. So 10 pi over 5. 13 minus 10 is going to give me 3 pi over 5. OK. Um, the second one, we're going to add 2 pi because it was less than 2. 2 pi. So we're adding. So negative 15, negative Negative pi over 15. <laughs> so what are we going to do? Plus 30 pi over 15. Because you got to ask yourself, 15, what divided by 15 equals 2? 30. Or you could just do 2 times 15. That's all, also would work. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get 29 pi over 15. So we're going to do our pictures. Pictures, look at me. 3 pi over 5, that's the smaller angle. The bigger angle has to go around more than once. Um, that little tiny, okay, so negative pi over 15. But if we wanted to get there and it be positive, that's that loop right there. 29 pi over 15. All right, people. Now we're about to be a little mixed. What time is it? I got 10 minutes till this bell rings. Okay, assume the angles are in standard position. Find a positive angle less than 360 or 2 pi that is coterminal with each of the following. So we're mixed. So we have 750, right? So 750 minus 360, because remember, we need to get it less than 360. It's 390. Is 390 less than 360? 
No. So what do we have to do? Oh my gosh, we have to subtract 360 again. And that's what gives us 30 degrees. That is the answer. See, this time we got multiples. We have to subtract 360 more than once. Okay. Um, 22 pi over 3 minus 2 pi. So we're going to do 22 pi over 3. So 3 times 2 is 6. So that's going to be 6 pi over 3. 16 pi over 3. If I take 16 and I divide it by 3, I'm going to get 3 point something. So that means I still have to subtract one more time until it's less than 2. 10 pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3. Oh my gosh, we have to do it again because 10 divided by 3 is still 3 point something. Oh, 16 divided by 3 is 5 point something, but you get it. 4 pi over 3. That's my final answer. Can you believe that? I had to subtract 6 pi over 3 three times to get the answer for this problem. Because the first time when you get when you get 16 pi over 3, 16 divided by 3 is 5 point something. I said 3 point something the first time. That's my bad. 5 point something, right? So that's not less than 2. So we're going to subtract 6 pi over 3 again. We get 10 pi over 3. 10 divided by 3 is 3 point something. Still not less than 2. So we're going to subtract 6 pi over 3 again. And now we get 4 divided over 3, 4 pi over 3. 4 divided by 3 is 1 point something. That is less than 2. So that's how I know that I stopped here. Oof. All right, <laughs> negative 17 pi over six. All right, first of all, it's a negative, so that means we're gonna have to add two pi. So we're gonna rewrite our problem, negative 17 pi over six, but we're gonna make sure that that six times two is 12, so we're gonna use 12 pi over six, because we need like denominators, right? So negative 17 plus 12 is gonna give me negative five pi over six. I'm still in the negatives, right? We need a positive coterminal angle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that process again. So I'm going to add 12 pi over 6 again. And what are we going to get? We're going to get 7 pi over 6. Ta-da! That is what we want to get. Okay? So if we look at negative 17 pi over 6, that's what it looks like if I drew it. Um, and its coterminal angle that is positive and less than 2 pi would look like that. Yay! All right, so you already know what the deal is. Pause the video. We got three problems left. You do these two and the next one. Do these two first. Pause the video. Alright, hopefully you paused the video. If you didn't, shame on you. Okay? So if I have 855, I need it to be less than 360. What are we gonna do? Add or subtract? We're gonna subtract, baby. And we got 495. Is that less than 360? We gotta subtract again, 135. That's less than 360. Boom, I'm gonna take a halt. All right, minus two pi, minus two pi, because 17 divided by three is five point something. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna subtract, because I need to be less than two pi. We're gonna use six over three, because three times two is six. So six divided by three is two, hello. 17 minus six is 11 pi over 3. What's 11 divided by 3? Well, it's 3 point something. That's still too big. So what you got to do? Uh, subtract 6 pi over 3 again. 5 pi over 3. Is that better? What's 5 divided by 3? 1 point something. Bet. Okay. Coterminal angles. Last one. Try this one by yourself. Oh, wait. <coughs> Okay, hopefully you paused it. 25 pi over 6, 12 pi over 6 equals negative 13 pi over 6. Still negative, so we gotta do it again. Negative pi over 6, still negative, gotta do it again. 11 pi over 6. Very good. And we have a picture for this one. That's 11 pi over 6. And negative 25, that, that was a lot of negative space right there, okay? <laughs> all right guys we're done listen go back to the video see if you can do them by yourself i'm i'm gonna always say that because that's you learn math by practicing it okay and also like comment share subscribe
share, 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 share,